What is that in there? We got wood pellets and uh, fur. And there's some peanut shells somewhere. No, it's in this one. We'll like that one next. And, so that's uh, just a paint can with holes in the bottom. Holes in the bottom, like that. All right. All Made right. with a uh, church key can opener. Okay. About halfway down. But th we, this bucket, this thing here is just full of those wood pellets then. Well, no, there's other wood in there. I put wood pellets on the top because it's a very dry material. Okay. And about 3%. Moisture in that, where my wood's probably 10% wood or wetness okay. or dampness. So that's so we'll, a fair we'll, bit of fair bit of fuel. Yeah, um, with this can full of wood pellets, it will burn for an hour and a half. Okay. Now I'll put the stack on there, and we'll just let that cook a little bit. Top lit updraft is what tea lead means. You light it from the top, and the flame goes down gasifies and the secondary air chamber creates a second combustion which burns all the volatile oils and gases from the uh, from the wood so there's virtually pollution free mm -hmm. no smoke you can see there's no smoke see that flame is coming up a little more now this is designed by dr. Hugh McLaughlin a PhD in chemical engineering and he calls this his 1G2 can tea lud. <laughs> and uh, so I made it. He came out with it on the internet last uh, January of 2010. And I made it about a couple of days after he posted it. And it only took me an hour to make it. <laughs> what did it you does look like a pretty simple design. It, it is about as basic as you can get. So now one thing, I'm looking at this design and I'm kind of thinking one of the things that I could do if I wanted to is I could cook my food and, and uh, when my food's done cooking, I could put a lid on the can. That's it. And then I could save that leftover fuel for later. You probably could. This That's... seems way simpler than a rocket stove. I have one of those and uh, you can't save anything. And I mean... Right. Once you start the fire, it's, you're engaged. You gotta go. With you gotta. You're, you gotta commit. You're locked and loaded. Yeah. You're married to it. See how it's coming up now, the flame. Yeah. It's it's reburning that smoke. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I cooked uh, cooked dinner on it last night, <laughs> and uh, a little stir fry. Now this one's getting going here. This is a a five gallon paint bucket. It looks yeah. like. This is a 5G t lead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just kind of like the idea of like, you know, you talk about doing deep fry. I know that come Thanksgiving, there have been a few Thanksgivings, I've done the deep frying of a turkey. Yeah. And um, and I had a, this huge propane tank and and in order, because I couldn't do anything indoors, it would be hot enough to, to, to heat up that much oil. And so this seems like something where it would get hot enough. And on top of that, I'm just using, I can just use a, bit, a few twigs that fell off a tree right right in my That's backyard. It. That's it. Trimmings, tree trimmings. In fact, Ernie Weisner does that. He uses tree trimmings for his rocket stove. You can do the same thing with this. Chop it up a little bit. This is uh, the five-gallon bottom of the can with the primary air hose. And this we did at a workshop in Seattle in 09. And we made this with a cut-down piece of uh, half inch conduit pipe <laughs> cut at an angle so you cut the pipe at an angle and you just jammed it under the top of that you, you, you know you cut it and file it a little bit then you just use a hammer and pop pop that in so they got air coming in from below the fuel uh -huh. and air coming in at the side of the flame at the top that's the uh -huh. secondary air that's where the combustion is taking place and yeah 650 right there Okay, so so now this is we're all done here. We got our hot water, and uh, we can save our fuel now. You bet. So look at that. I don't hell. We hardly put a dent in that. Not hardly. Look at that. But look at that char. It's in there. Wow. Good fires, you know. And then we'll just put it right here. If you like this sort of thing. Come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about efficient ways to cook stuff, 
homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Top lift. Top lid. Top lid updraft. Lit. Sto top li lit. Top lid. Light it from the top. Top draft. Top, top lit. lit. Top lid. Lit. Lit. Top lit. Updraft. Top lit. Updraft. Getting air from the bottom. Stove. There stove. There you go.